Hey, I'd like to show you today something about, I, I want to digitize a design in red work. Um, there are different types of embroidery. Some, one is called red work, one is called black work. They are different. There's also a white work. But um, they refer to the color of the thread, but there also is a difference in the design. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute as soon as um, digitizer stops fighting with the video program and actually loads here. I had it loaded, but then I realized I was going to waste a lot of time trying to find the files that I wanted, so uh, I went. All right, so here is, this is... Um, looks like the Transfiguration, but I don't know what Lord is not dressed, so it must might be the Resurrection. Um, it's been a while since I saw that I did this one. Um, you see, red work is done all with lines. Usually, there are some satin lines in here, so generally, and I would go in and take all of those out. They... Um, this one, I think I had the program digitized for me, and I don't like when it does that because it does use a mixture of satin lines and um, straight lines, single run lines. But this one really should be done with only single run lines. And each line usually has gone over at least twice. And usually it takes involves some planning to make sure where you start and where you stop so that you don't have a lot of jump stitches. So this is one example of it to show you. Here's here's one. This is the Miraculous Metal. I don't want the artwork. All right, so you can see that she's done all with lines. Uh, the background is a fill, and the lettering is satin. But she herself is all lines. Uh, this I usually do on a silver metallic uh, background, which makes it look like a metal. It makes a really nice looking vestment. Here is, um, this is not my design, this is Trevor Conkergood's design, uh, but I really like it. Uh, again, the people in it, the Three Kings, St. Joseph, Our Lady, uh, and the infant, they're all done in lines. And where you do have some fills, the background is a fill, um, the halos are a fill. Uh, this is an old design I did. Let me turn off the background again. I don't know why I keep turning it back on. That, that actually was the vestment I was copying from. Um, and... Again, the border is solid, um, and there's some satin stitches in to make up the border. But he himself, our Lord, is only straight lines. And I think it starts here at the table, and it's pretty much just one continuous line throughout. Okay, only at the very end where you have these places where you have to jump to um, the IHS, the things in his beard. I think that's pretty much it. Everything else is one continuous line. You have to kind of plan where you're going to start and where you're going to stop so that you don't go over something too many times. The more you go over something, the darker it gets. Now, if that's what you want, for example, in his clothing, I did not want these lines very dark, so I, I think I only went over them once or maybe twice or the other lines I went over three times or four times. Anyway, um, this, let me, I'll show you the difference here. This is black work, I think. Yeah, I think this is black work. Black work is, again, black, usually on white background, and it has uses fills to fill in all the spaces. It outlines the space, and then it fills it in with, with particular kind of motif fills. Um, that's what black work is. Uh, and that's, 
precise for some things, but not it's not really a vestment or something I would use on a vestment. Now, why am I interested in this? Well, first of all, I do use these kinds of appliques for, um, as I said, the one Eucharistic Lord. This one is, a, I do a lot, usually do it on a either a gold, uh, gold fabric with this done in purple, or another one I do is on red, um, on gold fabric, him outlined with the border in red and him in red, or on velvet. Uh, the nativity one I usually pretty much do this way. I really like that. The metal, as I said, I do on silver. And um, I have a few other designs. I don't think I have them here. Uh, that I use. I have one, a resurrection design, which I couldn't find. That I is Again, it's red on gold. But there are actually whole vestments made with nothing but red, red work. Let me see. I think I have a picture of one here from a museum. Yes. This, this is gold fabric, and it has some kind of batting under it so that it's, it's, it raises it. Where they, and they go, have gone through, um, this was probably hand done, or maybe could have been done with the machine, but it was not. The lines might have been done with the machine and the pills, but uh, I don't think so. Anyway, you can see all of this. These are lines, and then and the shading is done with more lines to make it almost three dimensional because it, the fabric kind of puffs out from whatever the stuffing is underneath it, and makes these figures stand out. All of there's actually um, this is from a museum in France, but there is one in the United States similar to this. It's a it's a solemn high set, and again it's covered with all the saints. Um, I think Pius X had a picture of part of it, kind of like this, on one of their calendars one year. They have, the Pius X, I, the seminary in, um, in the United States, I think has one of the Dalmatics, that solemn high set. The Chasuble, I think, is in the Smithsonian. And there is a Cope. Uh, somewhere out there, but uh, and again, another Dalmatic. So there is a solemn high set. The pieces are not all together. Uh, and yes, I would love to do a vestment like this. However, I think this is beyond me. But that's not to say that I couldn't do it on a smaller scale. A whole vestment covered like this, uh, not unless I ha I could do it if I had photographs of every inch of it, and maybe a year doing all of this. This, but um, I don't know that I'd live long enough. Anyway, uh, so why is this important? Well, I I want to make um, again these kind of designs are uh, are used a lot, and. I, I want to see about making maybe a vestment using something along the line of this, but not covering the whole vestment, covering sections. Uh, for example, the cross on the back and around the cross sections with what I would like to do is a picture of, of, of Our Lady. There is a set of embroideries out there. Um, Made that go from the, the litany of Loretto, and show you these are the pictures from the of the. There's about 36 of them. Oh, there's actually 46 of them. Um, each one, each one. I hope they'll let me scroll through these. This is um, Santa Maria. Uh, you're not going to let me scroll. All right, this is 
Fontide Genetix, Hail Mother of God. This is Sancta Virgo Virginum, a holy virgin of virgins. Um, around her halo is what is the title, Mother of Christ. Um, here it's on the altar, Mater Divine Gratiae, Mater Castissima, Mother, that's Mother Most Chaste, Mater Inviolata, Mother Inviolate. I want to do this one. Go back. All right, we won't go back. All right, this one. I like this as an Annunciation picture. And that this is the one I would like to start with. I have another Red Work Annunciation picture. But I don't like it as much as I like this one. However, see, there's all, it's so busy. And yes, this is nice as an embroidery, but I don't want to go in and do all of this the little things. Maybe sometime in the future. Don't mind the wings so much. But all this in here and I, her, in her clothes. It's just a little too busy for me. However, I'd like to do a red work with, with the, with the, Clothing, the shading on the clothing, not all of this on the shoulders, not all of this background. The book, yes. The pillow, yes. Mostly just Our Lady and the Angel and a few things in the picture. So, first of all, I couldn't do it right on this picture. The picture is a little dark, and it would be nice if I could break, you know, have some another. Um, but, uh, Photoshop program or something go in and take out a lot of the busyness of it. And actually, there are free ones on the internet. So I went to the internet. And I, this is one that I've used a number of times. And yes, my computer's slow. But open it up for me anyway. Um, there's two that I use. This one converts photos to line art, I think. Um, sketches, photos to sketches, patterns, and stencils. It does it does an okay job with something that's really busy, but you really you really should start with something simple like this daisy. Uh, however, this one I like better. Sometimes I use both of them, first the one, first this one, and then the other one. This one, you you take you take your file. For example, if I took the file that I just had, and and it and upload it. Then it gives you options of what you can do to it. And going through the different options, you know, and looking at the preview, you can get, this is too dark for me. This one, the drawing one, it's not color, so I'm going to skip all the bottom ones. Um, this takes out a little, some of the busyness, but not enough. And there are, that, those are only, this is only the first. There are a whole lot other of other things you can do this, make it look like watercolor, whatever. But I'm mostly interested in this group because these are the drawing ones. The sketch one, I think, is the one I like the best. Notice it took out a lot of the background stuff in her clothing, all this busyness. And it leaves me pretty much mostly the darks and the light. And that's what I want. So now all I have to do is uh, save this one, which I have already done, um, and this is what it looks like. And um, so I'm going to work on top of this one. Now I may have to pull the picture up again. I can't see his hand very well there, but we'll get to that. So. Doing something like that in digitizer. Let me close all of these. No. 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 Yes. Uh, 
Okay. I'll leave you alone then for a while. And then don't say changes. All right. Um, so I want to file a new one. Not that way. I want a new one from... Well, it's really not going to matter because it's only going to be all one color. So let's just do a new one. And come out. So I want to put the hoop up. And I want to bring in here a picture artwork. And I had put that one on my desktop just so I could find it again. You really got to go in and revisit both my designs and my pictures and edit a lot of editing. Getting rid of, getting rid of what pictures that I've already done, finished. Designs that are incomplete or first, second, or third generation of them. Okay, so let's get some place to start. You want to start somewhere where there's a. All right, so you want to start somewhere where there's a conjunction of lines. And there seems to be quite a number of lines all meeting here. Another place is um, down here where the two of them meet. Let's start here. So digitize. I want to digitize an open line. And I think I'm going to do this in thread just because I hope it'll show up better against the black, maybe, and maybe a gold would do better. Let's try the gold. All right, so we're going to do, I'm going to start here. And it doesn't matter which direction I go. I should probably sit down and plan this out, but I'm not going to. Uh, so I'm going to go around the book. That line already once. And then go back over to the whole thing. This will be up. back to the beginning. And so the book section's done. So let's go from here up to the pillow. And there's the edge of the pillow. There's the other edge of the pillow. Now, at this point, I can go up or I can go back. I'm going to go this way and come back down around. Right, let's hit enter. So that's as far as I've gone. And you can kind of tell what you when you've done something more than once because you'll it looks a little bit darker. Now I'm just going to do 
the main lines here. Now, her hand is here. That's her hand there. It looks a little strange. I went about a few different ways because I want that to look more like shading. And if I don't like this, I can come back and do this. Follow the lines, the contour lines of the piece underneath. Enter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to. I may go back later and use a fill to fill in that dark, the fill in the pillow. I want it to look like a cartoon or a coloring book.
over it the second time, and then I'm going to continue around the heel line. Alright, I think I need to put this horizon line in here, not necessarily the tree. go to another junction and then I'll go back up to the horizon. The bottom of his house is here we get the cloud where we started. You meet, when you meet a junction of something, you need to think, uh, how should I, if I go back here, what's going to happen? Will I be able to get to this point by another way? And if you can, then it's safe to leave and to enter a little too far. All right, there's her eyebrow. And here's her eye. Her nose, her mouth, and I'll probably have to go in and get really close so I can see what I'm doing. If I had, if you want them to hit exactly, you can try and hit the nodes, but a better way is, I'll show you a better way, except that I've already passed that point. All right, I'm going to hit enter. All right, so I want to do her hair, and I'll show you what I'm talking another way you can do that, that you will hit exactly the spot. Go as far as you want to go until you need to back up. Enter, and then you hit backtrack. Now it automatically went over all of that again. I'm back to here. You have to remember where you started. Um, so then I can go around the top of her head. And I'm going to do her halo again. And I'm going to backtrack it. And I should be at her hairline. Enter. Backtrack. I'm back to here again. 
we are going to go down. Um, To watch out using backtrack though, because you may end up finding yourself in a spot. All right, enter. Backtrack. And I'll repeat it. So I'm back down here again. Um, because if I, I had gone as far as I could with her head. All right, so if I hit backtrack, I'm going to end up back there at the book. here now. And I'm going to go up here. There's rays coming down here. I don't want to forget these. I'm going to leave these now. Okay. 
You don't have to be back at all. You can find it. to make it look like there's a wing here. Yeah, come on in.
do. Yeah. <laughs> rules but i mean like this this is this is my scapular and it has to be the front piece has to be connected to the back piece yeah but you it doesn't matter how right right and if you're just maybe she's thinking like you're tying it and it's not like sometimes it will it will break and people won't tie it together they will tie it they will tie it to the other side yeah and then it doesn't that's almost like it's a necklace then and that's not right. Yeah, yeah. yeah one falls in the front and not No, one falls in the back, one falls in the front, but the string is the both strings are together in one spot instead of on both sides of the scapula. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna talk about but I'll uh can't have a fine. And also if as you say, if they're both in front too, that doesn't work. One has to be in front, yeah, one has to be in to back. Be You send it to me in a text message? And sometimes people like that don't, they don't, they don't stay in business, they move or they die or they, <laughs> they stop doing it. Oh, 
it's all right. I can find it. I'll just go online and search. So you say her name really is yeah. Sonia something. Sonia yeah. something. All right. She sells the fivefold. So if I do fivefold, it should come up. I can't go for the name in that right now. I'm in the middle of I got the digitizing program open and it doesn't like doing two things at the same time. I, I can I can search for it. Don't worry about it. Hmm? All right. So um, at this point, I think I want to go back. So, backtrack. And I'm going to select that one because I'm not sure where I started with that. I just, if somebody comes in the door and I was distracted, looks like I started right there. So, stop and digitize an open line. We'll start here and finish this wing. Yeah, come on in. Holding the flowers there, I just don't see where.
I need the details of this wing. Um, let's turn off the background. So that's what we have. Yeah, see, the bottom of this wing is gone. And we need some more details in here. She doesn't look bad, but there needs to be more shading and whatever this. There's something in the corner here, Miss. So, since we're on that side, let's go down and do that. But, let's start right here. And right here. So, we'll come down here. And, finish up this corner. Thank you. 
here. We might end up going back and doing this. I'm going to shade in some of this. Well, Thank you. 
this point. All right, so her hair. It looks like now. Out. You need to come out. That's pretty good. Um, need something right here. And I need a horizon line behind her. And horizon line here because of of his I guess it's a doorway or whatever but we're gonna we'll have to we'll put one in. It just ties it up the line so the horizon line is here. So we're just gonna do that. And we also need a frame. Alright, we need I could have done this with a fill stitch. I could have done a lot of the dark areas with fill stitches. the fill stitch I would have I would want to open it up so it wouldn't be too solid. Having done the pillow this far, I'm going to turn and do it this way as well. It's 
of the people are all the drugs on the other side. So this is what you see if you put it here. So just shave in some of this side. And that should be it. I will have to go in and look at the faces and the hands and maybe edit a few things on there. Well, those curly kids don't look too bad. Alright, so let's select all. And I'm going to turn it black. And I don't have the words around her halo, and I think I would want to put a second halo around there, and again make them more round. So I I'll go in and use the reshape tool and reshape those things. But this is basically what you do with red work. In this case, it looks black, but I never did put that line in here. So it does, and it needs a line there. This is the end of like a her cape here. Show that. You see, it comes off here. I need that line. I know I ended around the pillar here, so just I should go over it three times. Okay, I think I need a little more shading in here. He needs some shading. I want to make this all black. Um, okay, so I'm going to. I don't think I'm here.
I don't want to put that shading at the tree behind her. He looks like. I've gone back and done some editing on this. 
Um, I think I might still need to do a little bit more, but this is, uh, come on, I hate it when it does that, uh, out. This is the design, and I'll turn off the background so you can see the actual picture, the actual design. Now, notice I have some colors in black and some colors in red, and that, that's just to differentiate two different sections that I did. Um, so I'm going to turn off the black so you can just see what the red looks like. So this is what it looks like, just the red one. The the black was was um, I'll show you the difference in a second. And I did that in different colors because I wanted to see what I liked. And without having to do, use something over again, I can simply put a, use the same picture and use a different color. Now, let me come in and show you some things I've done. I in her hair, I put I made more so that her, around her face. This area here is much darker, so you can see the actual outline of her face. Um, I've gone in and edited her hands and his hands. This line across his hand is all right, but I think I probably want to leave it out. I'll have to check that. Um, I took out the lines that I had on his chest. I mean, I left them in the black, but I took them out. I just did an actual outline with the red. I may go in and actually shade that just as I did shade her, but I don't really think I need to. It looks good this way. Um, I need to do a little bit more editing in the flower here. It doesn't really look like flower. And I did put the words in, um, in her halo. So this this looks good. Um, I think I need a few, uh, as I say, a few, uh, a little bit of editing here in the flower. But generally speaking, this looks good to me. Um, I could also go in maybe and put lines on the pillow to make this um, again easy, a little bit different, easier to see, or I could. Uh, or instead of that, I could go in and darken the inside of her cloak. Um, now let me show you the difference between this one now, so you can see the whole thing. The difference between this one and the black one. Arrange. Untied. Follow. Arrange. Hide colors. Red. Okay, so this is the way it was when. Um, when we fin when I finished the uh, showing you how to digitize it, and all, all I did was copy and paste this and change the colors to red, and then go in and edit them, so you could see the difference between the two. This is now notice here the pillow is is darker. Um, I rather like that. And so I may go back and put this back in. Um, there's been more edit. You, you can tell I've done more editing with like the hands that I've put more into the flowers, but they still need more. I've done more with the hair. Um, I've taken out a lot of this messiness up here and go, actually gone in and made the lines a little bit better. So I've gone from this, and let me just drag that sideways so you can see them both. Uh, let's group that and drag that sideways. Let's turn off the hoop and show all. All right, so this is the red work one. And you could say the other is the black work one, but this is the, they're both red work. Uh, the difference is that this is more defined in here as opposed to this. I've taken out, again, this messiness in here and made it 
again, a little bit more defined, the, the halo. Um, I just done some really more intense editing. Uh, I think I will go in and put some more shading here so that you can, and, and, in, and in her cloak so that she sticks out a little bit better. So this is good in itself as it is. I think I'll leave the pillow. Um, I don't know that I'd like that pillow, but I think shading around her would be a little bit better. So I need to still do the lily, and I need to do um, maybe some shading. And again, I'll look at it. If I don't like it, uh, I'll do it in a in a different color, um, maybe another shade of red. And if I don't like it, I'll simply delete it. So this is, it went from this to this. Um, but this is the way I started. And uh, it's, and again, all I did was copy and paste it. They're, they're, they're really the same picture. I just then went in and deleted things that I didn't want, uh, fixed areas that I did want, uh, but using the reshapes tool mostly, sometimes adding lines. You know, in, in the feathers in the here are a bit more defined than these. Uh, again, in here, I just erased these lines and went back and did others. Uh, but, so this is what red work looks like. And you can see it's really not a difficult uh, thing to achieve. It's, I mean, if you do think about it ahead of time, you can avoid a lot of jump stitches. But if you need to, if you're a, new, a beginner with digitizing, put the jump stitches in. Most of most digitizing embroidery machines will cut your threads anyway if you have set it that way. Or you just use a scissor. So um, I like this enunciation. I don't like this cross on top of her. This is where it begins. and uh, I mean, this is where the last thing that I put in begins and ends. That's the that cross tells me that's where the last thing that I did. But um, so um, I hope you try doing a red work. It's uh, and they do make really nice um, make really nice embroideries. Um, I didn't get a chance to share the. Uh, let me see if this will show up. Um, here's a resurrection one that I did. I couldn't find before, but found later. We turn off the background, and this you can see how this would work as a as a, a, an embroidery on a vestment. So show, turn off, big work. All right, so that was the picture that I worked from. Then I made it smaller to fit in the hoop, but. Um, if you want to see this red work, I'll let me change this to red. Alright, so here's red work. And, um, and and then I you just add a border around it to set it off. And as and I do this usually I I, I you did this on a gold metallic fabric with with the red threads. And usually a dark red, like a burgundy, not a red red. And it um, it, it looks really nice. I don't have a picture of that vestment. Uh, but do try these. Uh, they make, if you're new to digitizing and you're afraid to do something in the, or, or not available to do the photo stitch, this is another way of getting nice figures on your vestment without um, having to do that, uh, having to do the photo stitch. And they actually sew off much faster because they're all straight stitches and there's not a lot of jumping. So um, I suggest you try it.